my name is Anna Hart Turner. Um, I say my middle name because it's part of my brand name, which is Aaron Hart. Um, I'm from the suburbs of Chicago originally, and I've been living in New York for almost six years. By day, I work at a screen printing studio called K Rock Screen Printing. And then uh, what I really love doing is making hand embroidered artwork. So I do a lot of mixed media where I take painting and mix it with hand embroidery or I embroider on unexpected materials like branches that I find on the ground and uh, found objects like nets from produce. Uh, I like to just really experiment with the medium. That's what I like to do um, under my name Aaron Tart, and I chose the name Errant because it means kind of to be wayward and stray from a normal path. It's just really relaxing and, and almost meditative. And it is a very like repetitive, time-consuming task, but in that way, it I find it just like relaxing. Especially nowadays, everything is like calling for your attention all the time. And when you can just like fo sit and focus on one thing, it feels so good. <laughs> so in New York City, I feel like there's just like a huge potential for a creative community, and there's also a lot of DIY kind of spaces where people are willing to like they're like let's just do it let's put a show together like there's that motivation that creative energy people come here to network so I realized that finding venues is a lot about just like meeting people and like being nice like you don't have to necessarily take a traditional route of finding galleries and things like for me I'm like I'm fine with like I just want my work like out there, you know, like I'm, I'm like, yeah, let me show it at the hair salon. Let me show it at the vintage store. You know, like there's other venues that it's not like too hard to get into, you know? I think a lot of customers find me on Etsy um, because I think people are just really looking for unique gifts to give um, on Etsy. I think a lot of it too is word of mouth. I just made a portrait for one person and, and then their friend saw it and they were like, oh, that's really cool. And then they ordered something from me. So that's been really great. I do have my Instagram, like I, I try really hard. And I, I think people have definitely found me through that. The social media has definitely helped, but I feel like it's not as like instant as people think it'll be, or you like people dream. They're like, oh, tomorrow I'll wake up and I'll have like 20,000 followers and all these are like, I don't know, that hasn't really happened for me. The most challenging, I think, is just to like, uh, just like keeping going, you know, because like balancing it with my other job and, and thinking about like, why am I doing this? And sometimes I'm like, is this just selfish? Like, why am I making this art? So I think I say like, that's probably the most challenging part because, you know, um, sometimes art isn't, it's not always valued, you know, the same way other things are. And and then it's, it's hard to like place value on your own artwork. I, I just think people don't realize like how much work it is and and how like even though it's kind of everyone's like dream you know to be able to do what they love you're often putting in like way more hours than you ever would at like a normal job so it's really hard to find like a work-life balance. I think the most rewarding is when um, the customers that I've made custom portraits for leave me like a really sweet review on Etsy or like a nice comment on Instagram. Like when I get those messages, it's just like, it really means a lot to me. And I'm like, okay, it's, it's worth it. You know, like the, the time and the w amount of work that I put into it. But, um, I think that everyone should have the ability to pursue their full potential in whatever they want to do. You know, like, I feel like there's so many people who are like, oh, I always wanted to do this, but I, you know, I couldn't because of, all these other circumstances. Um, 
if you know you're having to take a job that you don't really like because you need the finances or the benefits um you know like if universal health care was just viewed as a right instead of something you have to get with your job like then people maybe they'd be taking different jobs or making different decisions towards things that they care about more yeah it'd just be great if some of those barriers were lifted so that people could really express themselves and and um, discover their full potential within their lifetimes.